Hello and welcome. My name is Mike Roslog and I'm the product manager for Rad Studio, which includes Delphi, C++ Builder, and of course Delphi Prism. Today we're going to be doing another quick hit video and this one, this time we're going to be in C++ Builder. And today what I want to kind of show you is the background compiler, which was introduced inside of 2010. This works both for C++ Builder and also for Delphi. If you have one of those really large projects that you have to compile and you, you hate the fact that you can't really do anything, well, this is the answer to that. So let's talk about first what the normal uh, compilation options are for when you compile an application inside of either C++ Builder or Delphi. If you go into your tools options, you'll notice that you have an environment options up at the top. And inside of there, we have basically the compiler section. Normally, we show the compiler progress in a dialog box, and we also show the command line showing you what's going on in the command line. Now, the command line for some people can be on or off. I actually like turning mine off. Now, when I turn on background compilation, I really don't want to see the compiler progress. I don't want to see that dialog get in the way or anything like that. I basically want to come out and turn on background compilation. Now once you turn on background compilation you can set the priority to low, normal, or high. And the thing is, is that's how many cycles you get for the process. So do you want it to be focused 100% on compiling, regular, or do you want it to be set on low, which means that you're going to be doing a lot of other things. Now, using the background compilation really gives you a couple of features. You can edit your files, uh, even the files that you're compiling. You can reset breakpoints. You can, you know, set and modify the breakpoint positions. A couple of things you can't do right now with the background compilation. You can't close the project that you're compiling. You can't change the active project. So in other words, if I have a project group and I have 10 projects in there and I'm compiling project one, I've got to stay in project one for that process. I can't install the packages and I can't run and debug other applications from the IDE because that's going to take up a compiler process. I can't do anything that's going to be basically taking the compiler. So things like refactoring, things like code insight, things like performing designer tasks inside of your thing, that's not going to happen. And also modifying projects by removing or adding files while I'm doing the compilation. So a couple of limitations, but the really cool part is, is that I can go ahead, set on the compiler, and I can continue to work going in there, editing files, adding lines of code, things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the background compilation on. We're going to take off the show compiler progress. We're going to show the command line so we see when it is done. And then I'm going to say OK. Now, I'm going to load up the proc view, which is one of the demos that come with uh, C++ Builder. It's not that big of a program, but it does uh, take about six seconds, seven seconds to compile the application inside of my product. Now, before I go any further, the one thing I'm going to do is come up here and I'm just going to do a clean, just to make sure that there are no intermediate files out there, no problems from that standpoint. Notice I have a message down below that it was a success, and we can pull this up just a little bit and we can see that there was a success in there. Now, I'm also going to go to my my source code because I'm going to be adding you know a comment in here I don't have a ton of time to do that so I'm just going to come into here and put my cursor right here from that standpoint now what I'm going to do is come over here to my proc view now I could hit the control F9 I could I could do, you know any way I want to do it. I come up here to my project I can come over here right mouse click build make you know whichever whichever process you like if you're a keyboard jockey the control F9 but for me I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to just say build now it's kicked off and I'm going to come in here and say slash slash isn't this cool and that's about all the time I had because it's now a success so as you can see I was modifying the code while it was compiling in the background and I was able to uh, continue to do things now again once you do that remember there are some limitations to it but what's really great is that I can turn on background compilation now if you want the dialogue you can have it not a big fan of that dialogue when I'm doing background compilation because I don't want that dialogue in the way. But, you know, it does give us a really nice way to go ahead and do background compilation and let us do more work. Thank you for listening to this quick hit video. There is more to come, and thanks a lot. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.